what's the verdict today? Where are we today on all these five? And and the the conclusion is is unfortunately, but not surprisingly, that we are in a really really high risk state. We are outside of the safe and just boundaries for all of these five. A, a physical ceiling, there must be a social floor. And that social floor from the donut economics uh, framework is, is uh, defined from all the equity-based uh, social dimensions of human well-being that we all aspire to. So they have you know, parameters like life expectancy, gender equity, um, human development index, all forms of I mean, education, uh, so basically all the social parameters that, that matters for humanity. And, and that becomes the donut because it's, it's in the end, you know, conceptually, the space between the social floor and the biophysical ceiling that, that the world can develop in. We also have more and more evidence that the more pressure we put, the, the planet does not respond in a, in a linear way. You can have uh, long periods of very limited change because of healthy, resilient oceans and, and atmosphere and ice sheets and ecosystems, but push them across thresholds, really physically based, precise points, they will shift from being dampening stress to self-amplifying stress. come to a point where we even are at risk of destabilizing the entire planetary system and its ability to support the world economy and thereby societies and human well-being across the world. So to, to hold a safe and just climate stability on Earth would require from us not only phasing out all fossil fuels in record pace, but keeping all carbon sinks intact in ocean and nature on land. So, of course, tying in on the other Earth system boundaries, on biodiversity and on fresh water and on nutrients, but also absorbing more uh, greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, so removing carbon dioxide. It, it, it flags the need to start really scaling fast uh, different forms of carbon capture and storage and uh, direct air capture. proof points on that, that the transition, even though it's jumpy and, and challenging right now, will give better outcomes in the end. That we will have healthier, more modern and attractive lifestyles once we reach that you know, net zero fossil fuel and net positive nature future, um, which is not going backwards, it's really moving into a more attractive future. And, and I think that that's the conversation we want to have <laughs> basically on, on, on in every school and every bar in the world. Thank you.